you know, the, we are talking in a dark moment. So I think that hope is a instrument of change. The assassination of Rabin is a mega event because the killing of Rabin uh, decapitated the capacity to move towards uh, finding a new modus vivendi between Israel and Palestine. Next year we will mark 30 years to the killing. Uh, he created committees to deal with all the questions mm -hmm. of conflict. Borders, uh, Jerusalem, the right of return, water, uh, land, everything. It was the only moment in the 75 years of Israel that people said, let's put on the table all the questions and we try to, we, we don't know if we will succeed, but mm -hmm. we will try to confront them. I think that the arts uh, have to uh, create a dialogue with these uh, questions, not by making uh, demagogic or propagandistic works, but making people think. And I'm sure that the scars of the current events will remain, will remain, will, both in, in both societies. But maybe somebody will emerge, emerge and uh, help us, uh, these two societies, to move forward and to find other ways of uh, living together, whatever is the political formula of this. So I don't think the arts change the reality, but the only thing we do is we keep a memory. Mm -hmm. And it's a big thing, because the memory is against a revisionist uh, uh, reading of history forced by the current political power. So we are keeping this memory alive, that there was a moment that the Middle East was seemingly moving somewhere else. And let's not forget this moment. Yeah.